Hello. So one of the more popular videos that I've done is on how to submit short stories to fiction markets, particularly fantasy and science fiction markets. So I thought I would follow that up with some tips about what to do once you've sent it out. And so tip number one, do record it. Uh, don't count on your memory. Don't count on the magazine recording it for you. I, I don't know. Just make sure you've got this stuff written down in some way. And you may be like, i am only got this one story out, Kat. Why should I write it down? And my answer to that is because you will have more stories and it will at some point become unwieldy. At least that's your hope, I think, if you're watching this. So begin recording early, maybe a spreadsheet, maybe you're tracking it in the submission grinder, maybe you've got some other form. It doesn't matter. Just track, here's the story, here's the market I sent it to, here's the date that I sent it on. That's the important data. So tip number two is about waiting. So tip number two is if you are looking at a magazine to find out how soon you can expect to get a reply to your submission, and the guidelines say basically, if you don't hear from us, we've rejected from rejected your submission. I personally say, screw that magazine. Don't bother with them. Uh, that is discourteous and inefficient and just kind of stupid, in my opinion, because emails get lost. So... If it's something like that, I personally would avoid them. I don't send to markets that do that. Uh, most markets should say on their website, uh, here is our response time. If you haven't heard from us in three months, feel free to query. And so at the end of three months, do feel free to query. Do not query before the stated period, obviously, but as soon as that stated period is up, you can query and you can do it politely. And all you say is, hey, it's past time and I just want to make sure I didn't miss an email. That's it. Uh, and that's legitimately honest. And they don't want you to have missed an email. And I have on occasion discovered I missed an email. So that's when to query. Tip number four is do have some other markets in mind for that story. When I'm about to send a story out, I usually come up with a list of three to five markets, and I put that on my spreadsheet. And as soon as it comes back from one market, because I do have stories come back, it can go to the next one on the list. And I do not normally write stories for specific markets. I write stories because they bring me joy and I want to write them. So it's not too hard usually to find a list of three to five. So, and I don't edit in between, right? It comes back and I go, oh, okay. And I'll talk some other time about why rejections are not about the quality of the story often. But the important thing is just get it back out there, get it circulating. And tip number five, and I'm hoping I've managed to keep these all complete and in consecutive order, is work on something else. When you've sent it out, work on something else, forget it, right? You know, not until the appointed reporting time has passed, do you wish to think about it, work on something else. Because if you just sit there waiting for stories to come back, that is, in my opinion, both a frustrating existence and a somewhat unfulfilling and boring one. So let me run through those tips again. One, 
do record the submission, write stuff down. Two, query when it's past the reporting time. I've actually got these out of order. Three, if they don't have a reporting time and say, just assume rejection, don't submit to them. Uh, four, have other markets in mind, uh, create that list. And five, go work on something else. All right, so I hope that's helpful. I am happy to answer questions about that if you've got something in the comments. I have never had an editor take umbrage with me querying after the reporting time. It is perfectly fine to do that. And I know sometimes we worry that we'll jinx it if we mail them before the reporting, you know, somehow, right? They were just about to take the story and then your query came in and they went, how rude, I will immediately reject them. Um, I Editors are watching this can correct me. I've never done it, certainly. Uh, so I don't think people do. All right, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this is more use of the new camera and the new microphone. Excitement, trying to up the production values. Let me know what you think or if you've got suggestions. Uh, thank you, Karen, for suggesting that I uh, change the camera angle a bit in order to make sure there was room for the closed captions. So, all right, take care. Go forth and submit stories. <laughs>